Siberia, I, I read on your, and then you moved to Ukraine when you were a teenager. So is that in, in your before you moved to Ukraine? If I can ask. Переживання дитинства були в спогадах, коли жив на Уралі. Це не світ, воно все Урал. Мені було тоді, десь, коли я переїхав в Україну, мені було 13 років. А, 13 років. І ще такий момент важливий. Коли я приїхав в Україну, через вибух на Чорнобильській атомній станції. Це було... Шостий рік, і це було через місяць після того, як я приїхав в Україну. І зразу почався Чорнобильський катастроф. Я приїхав в Україну на рік 13 років, і це теж важливий якийсь травматичний досвід. There's also an important traumatic experience in my life. And I was evacuated in 1986 from Ukraine to Georgia. Okay, does anyone have any more questions? Just a question, are you still managing to create work now? Зараз це важко робити. Мені жахливо дивитися на те, що я зробив, і все, що я роблю. У мене вперше в житті страх, виникає страх під своїми якимись творами. Я поки що не можу робити ці твори. It's hard to do it now because for the first time in my life I am horrendous by the work I do. I cannot look at my work now. I just look at it and I am horrified. So, this, so I can, cannot do art right now. That's a goal. That's a goal, Andre. You said you were influenced by the Macabre-ish forms. That's exhaustion from Macau images. No. So, you were influenced by literature, and I just wondered what novels or what writers influenced you. Surrealist literature. Oh. Yeah, that's for sure. Які не мають схожі з патематиці, але вони мені в аспірі духу дуже близькі. I will name a few authors that are not similar in their themes, but the spirit of their works are very close. Це Латріамон, Кауде Летроон, Жерард де Нерван. Let's name the name of 
I thought you would say choice. <laughs> Did he mention uh, Sartre? Sartre? Sartre, no. He said Lettre et Can you please repeat the question? Did he mention Sartre? I think he said Lettre et Oh, Lettre. Jean-Paul Sartre. I was fascinated by Sartre when I was a schoolboy. Yes. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yeah. Great. So, <clears throat> interestingly, I presume most of these were produced before the intervention, the military intervention. So, we thank you for allowing us to look into, as it were, into your mind, because you say that these represent your mind poured out onto paper or... So, so it, they are very challenging images, of course. They're very strong, powerful, and challenging. Looking to the future, like two years or three years or five years from now, if you lie in bed at night thinking of what might be happening to the world, whether there are famines or uh, nuclear conflict or whatever, have you a plan in your mind of how to represent that artistically? And is it so horrible that you, is it so terrifying that you can't actually allow yourself to, to do that? Якщо б я хотів щось робити з візуальним мистецтвом, то це було б гейтніше, це було б якісь лірични речі, лірични речі, лірични чи наївні, які не мають нічого схожого з образами насильства чи агресії. Ну, взагалі так я так і роблю. Uh, if I would love to continue in like visual artist, I want I wouldn't want to do anything with the violence uh, because uh, I would love to do something more lyrical and naive in my art in the future. Mm. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much to Andre and thank, thank you very you. much for you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. 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 Thank